It's now time for the callers themselves, which of course is the lifeline of the show. Good evening, Tefa from Ghana. You're most welcome to Straight Talk Africa. Tefa, can you hear me? Hello, good evening, Shaka. You're very terrific. How are you today? I'm good, Shaka. I'm good. So, I'm Shaka. Yes, sir. My, my, my regard to your guest in the studio. Thank you. And first and foremost, let me also congratulate uh, Hillary, uh, Madam Hillary, for this wonderful achievement she's able to achieve in life as a woman, first woman to be given this kind of uh, responsibility. You know, Tefa, there is a saying in America that uh, it isn't over until it is over, my friend. Uh, you have to wait until she accepts tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> one, one Shaka, I have no doubt in my mind that she's going to accept this, this responsibility. <laughs> Therefore, I, am, I have uh, anything to congratulate her in advance before she accepts the responsibility. Shaka, uh, come to the main issue. Uh, me, me as an African, I want to see the whole status quo that is existed between U.S. leaders and some African leaders to be changed by uh, Madam Hillary Clinton when, inshallah, she be elected to become the uh, next president of the United States after Barack Obama. Because we cannot continue to allow some dictators to be, to be, to be, to be, uh, working hand in hand with a country like the United States, the country that believes in rule of law, accountability, to be dealing with the same status. So my humble appeal to uh, Hillary is that when she got a law, she should make sure that she changed this status quo because we cannot continue to maintain it. Enough is enough. She should look into the faces of those dictators across Africa and tell them that I cannot work with you until you approve your human rights record, until you show, uh, that, you show that you support the democracy. What you are, what you are researching in Africa, Shaka, is not a democracy. Some of the countries, it's not a democracy. Let's say the fact. But the United States government continues to work with them because of the so-called black uh, interest. It is time for the United States also to look at our interests. And, and, and say Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tefa. I think uh, your point is well made. Let's go uh, to Nigeria. Good evening, Buba from Nigeria. You're most welcome to Straight Talk Africa. Good evening, Shaka. It's Buba. You're terrific. How are you? Fine, sir. I'm just fine, sir. Your question, Buba? Yeah, my question has to do with podium and the convention. So also with the diaspora aspect of uh, 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 Now, sir, we here in Africa, the issue is we are yearning for lighter American foreign policy that will suit we Africans here. So, I mean, diaspora in Africa, it should not only uh, uh, vote wisely but judiciously so that we accept our yearnings to be fulfilled in this uh, convention. Uh, thank you very much and save less, sir. Thank you very much to Buba. Let's go to Edmund from Ghana. Good evening, Edmund. You're most welcome to Straight Talk Africa. Good evening, Shaka. This is Ed from Uganda in a small called in Bali. Very interesting, Edmund. Yeah. It looks like Ghana and Uganda rhyme. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow a bit, but uh, Shaka, one thing which I want to tell you is that uh, I personally and with the other Ugandans, we are happy of we are happy of the conversion of the democratic lady. Shaka, America, no? Hello? Yes, please. Shaka, America changed it some 10 years ago. When the, president, the black president was elected, that was the change of America. And I'm telling you, surprises are coming. The mother of the nation, the mother of the world, she's going to make it a president. She's a former 
she has given it and she has she has rest and everyone knows that she was there is a social which says every successful man there is a strong woman behind shaka i'm telling you the bill clinton himself in the you saw how he performed it was because of the strong woman behind so this woman never stopped to be behind the curtain she came as a state a state a state a, a foreign state lady and she performed she has been it for weeks so i know she will perform and she will make it that we are there thank you